She only discovered it by chance. An email left open on the family computer to her 20-year-old son from his hockey coach. Some things sort of struck me. There was language usage and uh, content that was not not appropriate. It turned out to be only one of many concerning emails Bernie Lynch sent to his young charge. The last thing I think of when I go to sleep at night and the first thing I think of when I wake up is you, reads one email. Passionately missing you. I love you, he signs off. Dozens of unwanted messages, up to 50 in one day, cajoled, threatened and pleaded. My stomach and heart ache. I miss you so, said one text. He said I was his quote unquote best friend. But I think he wanted more than that because the way he spoke and the way he was texting and whatnot, it, it sounded more like I was a lover than a friend. Just one ticket. Yeah. At first, the player thought Lynch wanted to help him. Then he says things got more intense. The coach pressured him to hang out at his apartment and became angry when the player refused. This to me seems predatory. It is completely in, in violation of a coach player uh, relationship and the way in which a coach should communicate to a player and this is not right. On January 1st, the player's parents sent the team president an email outlining their concerns, sharing the texts and emails. The next day, Lynch was suspended without pay in order to have no contact with players. Hockey Canada, the sports governing body, is investigating, but to date, neither the player nor his mother have been contacted by anyone from the organization. Hockey Canada declined to explain why that is or to provide CBC News with any details of its investigation. CBC News has spoken to a number of Fort Francis players who shared other concerns about Lynch, detailing bullying behaviour and his use of sexually charged language and slurs during practices and in the dressing room. When asked about all of these allegations, Lynch declined to speak to CBC News and says he has yet to be contacted by anyone involved in the investigation. Okay, and so Jonathan, what else have you learned about this coach? We've been looking back at Bernie Lynch's career, which spans more than four decades and involves teams across Canada, the US and Europe, and we've learned of similar allegations in the past, including a police investigation 20 years ago in Saskatchewan, which did not result in charges. We'll have more on all of this in the coming days. Okay, Jonathan Gatehouse, thank you.